newest Disney production, Star Wars The Last Jedi, proved to be an incredibly lucrative venture for Disney, considering it pulled in $745.5 million worldwide just one week after its release. Undoubtedly, the newest addition to the franchise destroyed the competition at the Christmas holidays box office this season. Reportedly, the eighth edition of the Galactic Saga was on top of the charts for its second week based on data released by the company, Exhibitor Relations. The movie pulled in $68.5 million to end up with $365 million in North America since it first started showing in theaters. The film's success was not unlike the movie of last year, Star Wars, Rogue One, which revealed context for the original flick which came out in 1977 40 years ago. The industry analyst Paul de Garabedian said the movie so far has made $745.4 million when taking into account box offices around the world. However, the record still sits with 2009's Avatar, which made $2.7 billion. Fans of the James Cameron movie will remember when The Hurt Locker beat it for Motion Picture of the Year at the Academy Awards. Coincidentally, James Cameron's ex-wife, Catherine Bigelow, was the director for the movie featuring Jeremy Renner in his breakout role. Additionally, Star Wars The Force Awakens did extraordinarily well coming in around $2 billion. Christmas time is usually a period where the studios release a series of movies to cash in on the first of season, but the Star Wars film by far did the best. The production, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, made $34 million in its second weekend for Sony Entertainment. Advertisement Universal's Pitch Perfect 3 made $20.5 million, and Hugh Jackman's latest flick earned $8.6 million. The movie, Ferdinand, a story about a bull which supposedly is meant to take down the best bullfighter on the globe, made around $7 million in its second week.